What's going on everybody? This is United Gamer 101 here and we are on the home screen of the Jack and Daxter collection pack. We are about to start off our newest let's play of Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. This is the first game of the uh, trilogy. As you can see, it's all three games here, Jack and Daxter, Jack 2, and Jack 3. I played all of Jack 1, uh, almost half of Jack 2, and none of Jack 3. Um, but uh, it says 99%. I have completed this 100%. I have a 100% trophy platinum trophy on this PlayStation 3 collection pack. Um, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be 100% walkthrough as always. It's gonna be a lot of fun. This is one of my greatest nostalgic for PlayStation 2 um, with Sly and Ratchet and Clank and some other games. So I'm hoping all you guys will really enjoy it. Um, all you Sly viewers that I love my Sly Let's Plays will come on over to Jack and Daxter and will enjoy this as well as we complete all three of these games as well. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start off this new adventure. Alright guys, so here we are now. Now if you have not played the Jack and Daxter collection, you should really um, pick it up after at least watching the Let's Play and see what you think of the game. And if you have played Jack and Daxter, you should definitely think about getting a collection pack if you have a PlayStation 3. Now I've got a lot of questions, which one should I get, Jack and Daxter or Sly? Well the choice is easy, which one did you like more as a kid? Um, I liked, I have to say I probably like Jack and Daxter a little bit more, mainly because I played it first. I love Sly 2 of uh, uh, that series the best, and I love all three of these. I don't know, the story in this one is really good too. I like them actually about equal, I don't really know, it's really hard to choose. Uh, but yeah, pick it up guys, it's a really great game, let's go ahead and press start here. Um, you can see my loaded game right there, um, missing 5 orbs. But we can go back, and let's go ahead and start a new game, we're going to do an empty file, and let us begin this game. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco. One of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Uh -oh. 
Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! We shouldn't have come here, and you listened! What? Ah! Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. In green tarnation, do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! <laughs> you can't come back through the warp gate until you find all four power cells on this island. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Alright guys, so we are finally getting able to play this game after the cutscene. Now, if you do need to go back and you want me to put um, subtitles on, I'm pretty sure I can do that. Let me go ahead and look at the settings real quick. Um, let's look here. Game options. No, I didn't want to do that. Back. Flip. Flip, I think. Hmm. I could have sworn there was an option. Maybe not. I'm sure there is. I'm just overlooking it. Players. Okay. Whatever. We don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, but about this game. Now, I did play through it, as I said. I can't even get out of it. And I 100% of the game quite easily. 
Uh, I don't know if that was really luck or what. I just really knew exactly where to go. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. I haven't played this game since I was like a kid besides, you know, this collection pack. This has been a very long time, but let me go ahead and sp explain the game a little bit. Now, we're trying to collect a lot of these cells. Uh, okay. Uh, but we're also trying to collect orbs, and then we're also trying to collect these scout flies. If you collect seven of them, it gives you one cell. Uh, this game is really fun. It's a lot more childish than the later ones. Uh, the later ones involve, like, gun shooting and actually, like, uh, I guess you could say my first shooter game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they really changed it, which kind of shocked me why, or really, like, well, yeah, like, why they did that, because the game, this one's very successful. But there we go, we got our second power cell, I, bel I believe there's 101 in the game, I think. Well, there's actually 100, but then you can get a bonus one, I can't remember fully. Uh, but I did 100% complete, and it was pretty easy, there was only a couple levels that I had problems with. Although Sly is over, I'm still really excited to play this game. I really wanted to let's play it a long time ago, but I was never able to because I don't own a PlayStation 2 anymore. And then when they came out as the collection pack, I was like so ecstatic and excited that they did this because I, I actually predicted it in my other earlier Sly uh, LP. I can't even remember where everything is on this island. Knowing me, I'll forget something. Alright, so there's all these different kinds of eco. There's blue eco, green eco, red eco, and like orange. Alright, sorry for all these interruptions. Now, I'm gonna just look again. I, I know I feel, I, I'll probably feel foolish for doing this, but I swear that there is a. Crap. No, options. A, a part. For um cutscenes, I could have sworn there was. I don't know. I guess not. If I am missing it, just comment below and tell me. Cause oh, wrong button. <laughs> One thing that is also weird about this game, I can't. I don't know why, but I always press circle to back out of stuff, and it's um triangle. Now I've been playing a lot of other games, so. Excuse me if I mess up with controls. I used to do that all the time in Sly. <laughs> so, I mean, you guys are used to it by now. Oh, goodness. I'm just, I love this game. I can't wait to let's play this whole series. And now that it's summer and everything, that, yeah, it's just going to be so much fun. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. There is a lot of cutscenes now, but they, they slimmer down like later in the game. I think. Is that all of them? Oh, let's look. Yep, that's a lot of them. Now, when I used to do Sly Fells, uh, you have not seen anything until you played. I played this game. I used to go crazy in this game. It's not even a hard game, it's just I would manage to mess up. Now, I know I'm missing some orbs because I did it last time. I don't know, I think I missed five last time, and I think I know I did it this time as well. Go ahead and take it back down though. Let me look. Oh, 44, I'm missing six. And I think I know where they are. I don't know, I just missed them last time as well, so I figured I would again. When I first played through this game. Because I actually had to come back later in the game, all after I've almost beat almost the whole game, and I was missing some orbs. It's like, what the crap? And then I came back and then. There's also this game that I used to have a terrible fear of. When you jump in the water, this shark comes up. It's like, you know, crap. I didn't mean to fall. I can give you an example, though. Well, I'm in shallow water, so he won't do it now. Let me, all right, let's be quiet so you can listen. If I can ever get there, that is. 
Alright, we're not gonna focus on that now. You'll see it later in the game. I'm foolish to do that. <laughs> but there's just like one little shark that it always comes after you. Especially this one like sea little world. It's like the second world you go to after uh, volcano, I don't know, mountain area. I don't even remember all the names either, but... Uh, down there? Yes, there they are. I knew I missed them. Same place, too. Oop, didn't get that one, didn't get the one over here. Alright, so there we go, we collected all the orbs for this world. I thought there were some down here, I just managed to not overlook them and not come towards it, so... Now, if I am correct, you die in one hit in this game, so that's where the rage comes in. There's not like a health bar or anything. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's infuriating for me. Because I always, I have to have a health bar in a game. I'm good at video games, but I manage to fail a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, let's go ahead and stop on the switch. And let's go back to the main world. Green Sage's Hut. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Alright guys, thank you guys for watching part one of the Jack and Daxter Precursor or Legacy. <laughs> The Precursor uh, Legacy. Uh, we will continue in the next part, trying to continue on this game. We will take care of some orbs we can get, or Precursor orbs we can get in this area, Sandover Village. And then we'll move on to, not the beach area, but I uh, cannot even remember any of these names, which is really sad. But uh, we'll move on to there and Did almost felt. the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? <sighs> we best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. I'm actually kind of scared that I'll forget some stuff in this game, which is kind of weird because I did it fine the first time, but, you know, we'll see without this, uh, throughout this Let's Play. Uh, but this is United Gamer here, guys, and I'll see you guys next time when we'll take on some of this village. See you guys then.